Here in North Florida, we are overrun with stink bugs and army worms. The stink bugs are such a nuisance on everything, fruits, vegetables, you name it. Well, we're growing organically and I do not want to use any harsh chemicals for the stink bugs. Sadly, there is no soft version for them. And the army worms can be controlled with BT, but I don't really want to use that either. I'd like to have food that has nothing on it other than rain and sunshine. <laughs> so we had to come up with something different. Physical barrier. Here are the organza bags. Everything's dressed up in them. And here's a whole bunch more. Every tomato gets a baggie. We used to grow tomatoes here very successfully. That was the first year and from then on it went downhill because the stink bugs moved in and never moved back out. So we gave up for years and this year we're using these baggies and it's happy growing again for the tomatoes and for the bell peppers. So sometimes the casualties can be caught on time like with this one. I seen this guy and squished him before he gets to the other tomatoes. And sometimes the casualties just sneak up. I'm patrolling this plant several times a day, all the plants actually, and there was nothing wrong with it, couldn't see it. And this morning when I walked by, it didn't look so good. What do we have? That one, army worm. I don't shove it right there. This one, army worm damage. So sad. And then, is the worm in there? Yep. And that happens. Oh, man. This could have been good tomatoes. <laughs> so, it works. And it has some drawbacks. But it's better than nothing. I'm sure we would have no tomatoes again this year if it weren't for the baggies. Army worms and especially the stink bugs. And that's what they look like. They uh, ordered the 8x12 and the 6x9. The 6x9 is really just good for a cluster of cherry tomatoes. The 8x12, they work if the tomatoes can get too large and if it's not a big clusters of two large ones. A size up would have been better. Now with the little 6x9s, their package had some dots in it without string kind of annoying. They come in counts of 50 each and I think the 6x9 was around $10 and the other one about 12 or 13 So it's gonna make expensive tomatoes but it's better than no tomatoes at all. I think it helps 95% of the time. But so what about those pesky 5% that cannot be avoided somehow? I guess we'll just take the cut on those, let nature live too. I'm still puzzled how they get in. I have no idea if they come in when they're tiny little or if there are eggs inside when I bag them, although I usually wipe things off. Or if they wiggle their way through the drawstring where they're attached. I tighten them pretty good, but I assume if you're a worm and you have a whole night with nothing else to do but get to my tomatoes, it's possible. Maybe I should set up a game camera. But still, 95% looks pretty good.